Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, Windows 7 um, on your Mac using a virtual machine. Um, this works for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and I'm pretty sure this works with Windows XP as well. So, there's a few things you're going to need um, and that is a CD or ISO copy of Windows 7 or any other version. Um, so, an ISO file if you downloaded Windows or whatever, and a CD if you have a Windows CD. Um, the other thing you're going to need is VMware Fusion 7, and this is the virtual machine program. Now, there is, this is a paid um, application. Um, but I do have another video on this channel on how to get it for free. Um, so if you want to go get that and come back, then you can do that. Um, but as you can see, um, I am using an ISO today as my MacBook does not have a CD drive. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So you're going to want to open um, VMware Fusion. Um, and if you haven't installed anything on your VM, um, VMware, um, you're going to get this welcome sort of screen. And uh, we want to install it from disk or image, so we're going to highlight that and hit continue. Um, now, it might automatically detect a, an image on your computer, but uh, if not, then um, let's use, uh, you're going to click use another disk or um, disk or disk image. Um, so I'm just going to browse for my disk image, which is on my desktop. Um, if you do use a CD, it should show up here, and you should just be able to select the CD and hit open. Um, but my ISO is right here, so I'm going to hit that and hit open. I'm going to make sure that one's highlighted, and I'm going to click continue. Now, this is a feature with the VMware Fusion program um, called Easy Install. This is where you can... Um, uh, input a password that you want to be set up with your Windows user um, and you can also um, enter your product key um, you do not have to enter a product key you can just click continue um, but it is recommended that you do that but I'm just going to continue without one now this is another feature with the VMware Fusion program um, basically more seam, uh, seamless and more isolated. Um, what more seamless does is this will share your Max documents with the Windows virtual machine, so you'll be able to use your Max documents inside the Windows um, virtual machine. Um, or you can choose more isolated, which will be like a traditional installation of Windows and just have its own documents. I'm just going to do more isolated at, um, for this time uh, and hit continue. Um, and I'm going to hit finish. You're going to want to hit finish. Um, this will ask you where to save it. I'm just going to save it in the default folder and call it Windows 7 um, for video. And hit save. So now you will get this and it should start up. If it didn't start up, then click the, the big play button that you saw earlier. Um, so now we are booting the installer. This will put the ISO or the CD um, ready for install. So, set up is starting and because we ticked easy install, we shouldn't have to um, select anything here well okay um my copy of windows wants me to select the version i want um and hit next and as you can see this is um now installing windows onto the virtual machine now this can take um some time depending on the speed of your um computer um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to come back once this is done so i'll see you guys when this is all done 
Okay guys, so as you can see, um, the installation has just finished and the virtual machine is rebooting. Um, so we're going to let it start up. So it's going to just finish off the installation. This shouldn't take too long. Okay, so it's going to restart again. And it is setting up the copy of Windows for its first use. It's going to restart again. It's okay. I don't want to cut all this out just in case any um, any one of you gets confused. I'm just going to leave this part in. So as you can see, I did download this version of Windows, um, but here we are, um, we are about to go to the Windows desktop and we will continue with the last step, um, which is installing the drivers so that you can make your um, all your applications work and make your screen look um, the proper resolution and things like that so here we are um, I think we might restart again um, yeah so gonna restart once more Okay, so here we are on the Windows desktop and what we want to do now is we want to um, 
go back to our Mac and um, well first we want to check if the install CD is here which it isn't um, this seems to be a little bug with the program just now if you go to the top uh, menu bar of the virtual uh, of VMware and go to virtual machine and click cancel VMware tools installation because it isn't working and if we go up to the top bar again and just hit install VMware tools um, uh, hit install and the CD should show up in my computer and here it is here we're just going to double click on it uh, we're going to hit yes and that will begin, begin the um, installation of all the um, drivers we are going to need to run Windows properly in this virtual machine. So this installation should not take too long. So here we are in installation, just hit next. I like to do a complete install for all of the drivers. Hit next and hit install. Um, so as you can see, our resolution has now fixed itself and the installer says it's done. So we're going to hit finish and we're going to restart once more. Um, you guys might not be able, be able to see the text particularly well on the screen at the moment, on the Windows screen, but I shall fix that. So, let me just... Um, you can install an antivirus program, but I'm not going to do that just now. Let me just fix the screen so everyone can see it properly. I'm just going to adjust the resolution. Hit apply. Get changes. So, um, if we go ahead to the maximize button, we can go full screen. And as you can see, we now have a fully functioning Windows 7 desktop. Um, so that was, this is really all, um, there is to the tutorial, um, you now have a working Windows 7 copy, um, hits, um, I'm going to try and get a full screen here, um, it doesn't seem to want to let me have a full screen, so, um, just as a test we're going to restart once more. This should restart the copy. Now keep in mind we are still on Mac OS X. Okay, it's letting me out of full screen now. So as you can see, um, we have a working copy of Windows. So um, that's all there is to this video. If this um, tutorial did help you, then um, I would appreciate it if you subscribed, um, and I shall continue to make videos like these, um, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.